For the longest time, people, even presidents, thought that the vice president was useless. The only job of the vice president was to stick around in case something happened to the president. Other than that, they were often sidelined until they needed to break a tie in the Senate. It used to be that the Secretary of State cabinet position, which dealt with foreign policy, was the best way to later run for president. As with so many things, it wasn't until FDR's presidency that the VP began to rise in stature. FDR invited his VPs to cabinet meetings, which has been the norm since the 1930s. FDR also had his VP sworn into office with him on Inauguration Day in 1937. Dwight Eisenhower would continue this tradition by letting Nixon preside over cabinet meetings in his absence, and the vice president has only grown in stature since.